Welcome back to Jamie Allen Golf. Today what we're going to talk about is three of my best swing tips that you can use within your practice over the winter. It's pretty Baltic outside the now, so make sure you've got enough layers on when you when you practice this. It's cold. On the range and on the golf course. So, three of my best tips. What we're going to do to start off with is we're going to talk about wedge play, iron play, driving. Sounds so good. We're, we're going to kind of do it for short shot first and longer shot, just kind of briefly talk about kind of what I work on with students and what I like to see to people to hit the ball further and more consistently. Perfect. And we've got a special guest on the channel today, Steve's just kind of here. Just, I've just uh, gate crashed. Gate crashed the party, yeah. Absolutely. So I want to hear your three top tips. Three top tips. So, start off with wedge, but I've got a seven iron with me. I've got 50 degree wedge, which doesn't get used very often. And driver, which doesn't get taken out of the bag very often either. So let's chuck the head cover to the side where it belongs. So wedge play. So guys, 50 degree wedge. Biggest tip I can give for any golfer who struggles with wedge play, and that is generally trying to get into the habit of controlling the ball flight. And how do we control ball flight? And that's kind of how we vary the loft. So. If you, let's say you play in Scotland and you want to hit the ball low, you have to be able to change the loft to obviously hit the shot, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. you kind of get the hand, so if you want to hit a nice low one, what you need to do is you need to reduce loft by getting your hand, the hands more ahead so you can hit the ball lower. And vice versa, if you want to hit the wedge shot a little bit higher, move the ball position a little bit more forward and the hands just a little bit back. So let's put that into practice. So it's important when we're hitting a wedge shot that our Feet are kind of what, shoulder width apart. Yeah. Shoulder width apart. Yeah. And the ball's in the middle of our feet. That just encourages us to kind of hit the golf ball and take a divot after after that. And our weight has to kind of always be forward of where the golf ball's positioned. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's going to help us kind of hit the ball low. So hands ahead. So we're adding a little bit of shaft lean in there. So hands ahead. Hit it low. Mm -hmm. Or if you want to hit a little bit higher, just move the ball forward a fraction. And that's going to automatically try and get your hands just almost kind of level with the ball. Yeah, absolutely. And then just... Ball goes up. Higher. Ball goes up. Can I try one? Go for it. Right. So, lower one, hands are forward. Yep. Higher one, hands are back. So, ball's in the middle, did you say? Yep. Cool, so wrapping my hands forward, it brings the leading edge a bit more to play, doesn't it? Yep, it does. Takes the loft off. Right. And then, what did you say, middle of the feet, middle hands of, back of yeah, it? Yeah, hands back a fraction like you had a bunker shot. So rather more loft, and then the bounce interacts with the ground a bit yeah, more, so isn't it? you're taking less of a divot. That was too Hit the bad. roof. Hit it does work. <laughs> so, guys, <laughs> tip with wedge play. Now we're going to talk seven arm. So guys, seven arm. Make sure you make this club your friend, because it's the most used club in the bag, in my bag personally. So seven iron defaults to that, don't they? Yeah. And they're practicing they're always just going to hit my seven iron. Yeah. It's, it's a lot easier to hit than a driver. Well, it's but bad. it is, it's, it's a lot easier in the spectrum, yeah. I mean, when we're, when we're hitting iron, it's really important that we kind of get into a habit of setting up differently from a driver to an iron shot. So mm -hmm. an iron shot, what we want to do is we want to take a divot after, so you've talked about this before, the club should put on out three or four inches after the golf ball. Yeah, that's target so side. Yep. One of the biggest faults you see is kind of golfers set up the ball and then what tends to happen is they try to help the ball up in the air. Yeah, I see a lot so of that. Club face, or I guess the ball before the hands do. Right. Just try to help up. So what we need to do is we need to get in the habit of feel like we're hitting the ground maybe three or four inches after the ball. That's yeah. going to help us control low point. So you can see is golfers who kind of help the ball up and weight too far back. Yeah, absolutely. And everything's moving up towards the sky. So our main goal is just to try and get a weight forward on our front foot. Absolutely, just get everything moving towards target. Eh? Yeah. So and the last thing to get moving towards target is the puppy. Ball in the middle of your feet. And your main goal is just to try and get about 100% of your weight on your left foot as as you get to impact. So even just hit, just take kind of half shots, just rushing the ground all the way through. So our job to focus on trying to work on that, getting your hands ahead at impact and weight left is just it's almost feel like you've got a mop in your hand and you're just trying to push the yeah, push so. everything forward, so feeling the club really low to the ground on the way through. Mm -hmm. Instead of that. Yeah, that's, that's a total scoop, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's, it's, the, it's the human being, the human element trying to get the ball into the air. Whereas we really just need to get ahead of the golf ball, but we actually hit the golf ball on the way down. Yeah. A lot of people forget that to get the ball in the air you have to hit it down on it. Yeah. yeah. So hands ahead. 
weight forward, simple mm. as that. But, you know, we, we talked about this step back, Josh, take a dress position. Yeah. Then put your left foot beside your right foot. Uh-huh. And then as the club's going back, would you step forward? Yeah. So you're there. Uh, step through, trip, step back. Yeah, but I think it's quite important that you have to step forward as the club's going backwards. Ah, uh, yeah. And so as the club's going backwards, I'm stepping forward. Yeah. And then I can feel the lag and feel the transition. So I'm stepping now to get butter. That's also a drill to work on your timing if you're really quick. I want to hit it far, 300 yards down the middle of the fairway. Oh, oh, I love that. This, this video is hopefully, hopefully going to point you in the right direction in order to achieve that. So, driver, it's got low, low loft on it anyway. So what we need to do, a lot of golfers who have dry hit driver, they'll set up to a driver as if they hit an iron. Yeah. So they'll set up, in my previous tip about iron, the same with driver. So the ball's in the middle of the stance, weights forward, and they just almost hit down on it as if they're chopping an axe in the bed. Yeah. It's almost like that. And right. the ball's never going to go up unless you kind of hit up or, Hit yeah. up on it. The so, ball's in there already, isn't it? Mm. So you have to present the club to that and yeah. push the ball down to the ground. So, driver, we want to get the ball position, so feet together, and the ball position has to kind of go in, in relation to your left heel. Okay. And then from there, we're just kind of moving our feet back. But we want to just to get to hit up on it, we need to try and get our shoulders tilted yeah, like right a, an airplane like that. Mm. So. Level shoulders are now, take your right hand off of this face on, slide your right hand down to your right knee in that position from there. And then my left shoulder is always higher than the right shoulder, that's going to encourage me to hit up on it. Yeah, I'll just move that because of the... Yeah, I'll probably take out the window. <laughs> or the mirror, sorry. So, a good set up. Hit up on it. Yeah. And I feel like my left shoulder moves up. As I hit the ball. So the left shoulder goes up the driver, yep. Yeah, which makes and that it changes angle of attack, yeah. Okay, so that again. And I'm just looking at the back of the ball. And then from there. Up and away. Up and away, and that's gonna help you hit the ball higher in the air. Right. And out drive your mates and you can slag them off. Just like you out drive me. Every most, time. Most of the time. Most of the time. <laughs> Pretty much every time, I think. <laughs> Any right. anything tired on that? No, that's super. Just three simple tips. How to play your wedge, how to play your irons off the ground, obviously. And then a yeah. way to approach driver. Simple stuff. Good, yeah. good stuff. So, three tips. Make sure you watch the video, like the video, comment below with any any thoughts on the video and any other tips you want in the future. Press the share button. There's a wee share button down there. Press that and it swings it around YouTube and that helps Jamie's channel. And uh, it would be a foolish not to do that. Yeah, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, you name it. Thanks for listening. Goodbye. Bingo.